Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos One, bringing you a Division 2 Best PvE Builds video. Today we are going to be comparing the Hunter Fury build with the System Corruption because I've been seeing a lot of people posting that System Corruption is better than the Hunter Fury and that the Hunter Fury is like uh, all of a sudden less than the System Corruption. But the System Corruption was around back on Season 1 and all of a sudden now everyone's using the System Corruption like it's the new build. But I happen to think the Hunter Fury build is better. So let's put this Fury to the test and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But before we get started, can you guys do me a favor? Slide on over and click that subscribe button for me real quick. Thank you guys for subscribing. It's Tactical Chaos 1. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And now let's get into this. So first off, let's go over the Hunter Fury build and what benefits there are to that and then we'll go over the system corruption and then we'll test them both out on heroic difficulty. So we got the Hunter Fury build with the gunner specialization with perfect killer which is critical killing an enemy with critical hits grants 50% critical hit damage for 10 seconds with the pestilence exotic LMG and then so we get into the skills with the skills I got the banshee pulse and I got the shock trap now I'm gonna have the same weapons and the same pulse on each build so we'll see what's going on except for uh, the difference is the hunter fury build and we're gonna have the memento backpack on each build too right so the only difference is gonna be is the what the hunter fury is compared to the system corruption so we got hunter fury build with 15% shotgun damage, 15% SMG damage for two pieces. Three pieces is 20% armor on kill with 100% health on kill, which I don't think System Corruption has that, where you get full health every time you kill an enemy. Sometimes that really helps. And then we got Apex Predator. Enemies within 15 meters receive a buff, applying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorients them within 5 meters and amplifies weapon damage for 5% uh, for up to 10 seconds stacking up to 5 times so this is awesome right I mean every time you kill an enemy anybody within 5 meters gets disoriented and you got a chance to lay into them too without them fighting you too now system corruption yeah you get a little bit of bonus armor for 5 seconds that's gone so quick you barely even notice it and you have bonus armor with this build too because of the memento backpack and you get the armor on kill so I'm right now I'm thinking this is a little bit better so let's go over to the stats what we got because we know that the memento backpack is the same thing on both of them we're gonna have that bonus armor with it the weapon efficiency okay so let's see where the stats are at so for a critical hit chance, I got 58% critical hit chance and 104% critical hit damage. So, and we got the Banshee Pulse Shock Trap, same as with the System Corruption. So this, I'm thinking, is a better. You get 100% health, you get 20% armor on kill, the weapon damage is way better, and you also disorient an enemy while you're fighting him, when you're, and you get a buff when you're within 15 meters of your enemies which you're always within 15 meters of your enemies on a build like this when you're running and gunning with the memento kill confirmed backpack right all right let's go over to the system corruption build and check that out okay so here we'll switch this over to the pestilence so we got the gunner specialization, same thing, perfect killer with the pestilence exotic LMG. Then we got 15% armor on kill, three piece disrupts resistance and pulse resistance, which to me I think is kind of useless unless you're going up against the black tusk, right? I mean, okay, so four pieces. Hack step protocol replaces armor kits with an instant infinite use ability on a 20 second cooldown that repairs 20% armor and grants 50% bonus armor for 5 seconds. Really? For 5 seconds? That's not much, dude. Increases total weapon damage by 1% per 5% bonus armor gained up to 20%. That's only bonus 20% weapon damage. I mean, the Hunter Fury build is way sicker than that. 
Okay, so just to make the system corrosion build a little bit better, I did put the talent intermediate on it, where you have bonus armor amplifies weapon damage by 35% to enemies within 10 meters. Now, this does make the build super awesome. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I do like the system corrosion. I'm just doing a simple comparison of which build is actually better. And I guess it depends on your play style, but this talent right here does grant that extra 35%, so that's 55% weapon damage when you have bonus armor because of the 20% for the system corrosion and 35% right here so that is actually a really good talent and then same we got the banshee pulse and the shock trap we can trap them in with the shock trap and then lay into them with some confusion and just unload some awesome weapon damage on them and then we got the memento backpack kill confirmed bonus armor from this too so all in all they're both really good builds i'm kind of leaning towards the hunter fury build just a little bit more because I do like the benefits of the Hunter Fury build a little bit better. It just seems a little bit funner to me. Uh, I've had better experience with it, but let's go out and test it real quick. All right, you guys? See, I love how the Hunter Fury build causes confusion when it's killing enemies. Sometimes that could really help you out. And then you get the 100% uh, health just when you kill an enemy. So if you're getting tore down right there, that really helps you out too. That's all right. Okay, so now we tested out the Hunter Fury build. And just so you guys know, we do have the same armor on both builds. Both builds are 1.1 armor with just about the same critical hit chance and a little bit different. To the, like one's 58% critical hit chance with 100% hit critical hit damage, and the other one's 60 and 90, so or 94. So we'll see what's up but both builds are almost exactly the same just seeing which one works better let me know you guys we're going to go over to the system corruption build now and check this one out on a side mission on heroic difficulty and see how the system corruption build works
All right, you guys, now we're here at the propaganda broadcast to test out the system corruption build Agent on heroic difficulty. Now let's take a look at the build identified. one more time. See, 1.1 million damage. Critical hit stance is 60% critical hit chance and 94.5% critical hit damage. So barely any difference nice. there. Same specialization, same weapons, same skills. Just different build. Same exotic backpack. This is Conley. Leader of the cleaners. No other group in this city is as well prepared as we are. We have fuel. Infrastructure. See, we activate the bonus armor to get that extra weapon damage. But see, the bonus armor doesn't last forever. That's the only thing I don't like about it. I mean, all in all, it's a great build. I still love it. Let me know what you guys think, though, because I know a lot of people really like this build. And I'm not going to lie, it is super powerful. That did drop him down quick. I'm not gonna lie. Well, all in all, both builds on Heroic were great. I love them both. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys are new to my channel, please do me a favor. Slide on over and subscribe to my channel real quick. Help me out, guys. Support my channel and the growth. Thank you, guys. I'll keep putting out awesome videos. And you guys, let me know what you guys think of the builds. And if you guys got any suggestions, a way to make either build better, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, guys.